My name is Luke Pletcher from Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Went to Ohio State where I was a three-time All-American, uh, now a volunteer assistant at University of Pittsburgh. Today we're going to be working on rotating high crotch. I uh, started using it from my junior year of high school. It started with just an idea where I just started trying to figure out the easiest way to get to the high crotch because that's the one I could finish the best. And then from there we'll roll to a couple different ways I use the finish depending on wh whether the guy goes down the first attempt or not. Sometimes it'll lead to a head inside single leg. So we'll go from there and see what we get. So no matter what move I'm using and whatever I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie up usually the same way. I use my forearm and I wanna put it right in between his neck and his shoulder. And this, I use this as a block because I'm a right leg lead and I'm, I'm going in with my right hand. And I typically know the only way he's gonna to get to me is to my right leg. So I'll use this more straight on and into him. So this is the blocker, and I know I can only attack this leg, so you just have to be ready for it. So in my stance, I'll throw my right, right forearm into this pocket to here, and usually this guy will tie up. From here, with my left hand, I wanna attack right above his elbow and get my thumb up, and my, I'm really grabbing with my middle finger here, and I pull him ear to ear. And I wanna grab right above his elbow with my middle finger and my thumbs up, pulling this in. When I pull it in, I want to collapse this arm this way. That way that he doesn't have a blocker. And I'm just going to rotate by putting my left shoulder down and I'm going to step with my left foot. See here. Again, from a different angle this time. Um, the outside step that I do is just a little bit different than the traditional you know, step drive step you're taught when you're in the youth. Um, I think that it just, it takes out the middle process of driving and I, you get the same amount of penetration. So instead of just going step, drive to here, I'm just eliminating the big step in the two seconds it takes to get it. So I'm just in my stance already, rotating to here. So for the partner, same tie up, forearm, grabbing at his elbow, pulling it in, and I'm rotating to here. When I go, I wanna try to pull him over top of me as I rotate so the, his weight's going backwards. So I same tie up here, Get above his elbow, I collapse this shoulder, or collapse his hand, rotate, and his weight's going backwards. The first finish for this one is I'm just gonna basically run, run to the right um, from the beginning, forearm in, catching above the elbow, rotating. When I get here, I wanna keep my, my hips in, my back straight, my head up, and I wanna run like over his left shoulder, and I'm using my neck to push this way, and I'm gonna, my, my left hand becomes a wrap hand. And drive him across. And forearm above his elbow, break this grip. And here, my hips are in, chest are up. I use my head as a, as a lever. So a common thing that, that happens if you don't have patience whenever you're cutting across to the, to the double from the high crotch is they'll still catch the hand that's coming across to the double with an underhook and they'll bring it up which is like splitting your hands apart and losing your strength. So from there, what I'm going to do is the hand that I have the wrap hand with my left is, is going to collapse the knee and the hand that come, that's brought up, they're just going to go like this. That way it, it, it just pushes the body together. The same way I'm starting, forearm here, off the elbow, rotate, and I cut across lazily, he's here. Now I want this to slide above his shoulder, in between his neck, and I'm gonna punch this way. So same setup here on the elbow. I, I'm in good position, but I cut across and he catches his hand. Now I collapse this knee and punch this way. So. Another thing that happens from here is you pull, they, they split your grip because you didn't, you weren't patient enough when you're cutting across and you try to go this way and he has good balance and he won't go down, you're just gonna change directions and pull with the hand that was cutting across and this hand lifts. So it's just changing the direction. You were going this way, you're coming back that way. So same setup here, above the elbow, rotate. I cut across and catch this hand, I go this way. Freestyle because you get four. It's a good way to 
you know, get that criteria lead if you're down by four. Right hand here, above the elbow, rotate. Uh, so next finish is probably the most basic you'll get here the probably the most frequently if you can't just cut across to a double and you know he stays up or he's blocking your hand from cutting across or blocking on your elbow rather um, you'll, you'll come up and you're just kind of stuck almost in like if you had a sweep single up to your feet put your heads on the outside so I collar tie here above the elbow rotate and he's blocking on my elbow and I can't cut across with this hand so I stand up and I'm just gonna run the pipe so I'm gonna bring my left foot back and I'm gonna hike this leg like I'm hiking a football. And then you go. You don't wanna fall with him, you want him to fall first, then you cover. One more time, right hand above the elbow, rotate. He's blocking his hand so I can't cut off. Up. I step back with my left and hike this like a football. Let him fall, then cover. If this guy if he, doesn't, if he doesn't fall when you pull through or run the pipe, what you're gonna do is gonna take your left arm back, or your left arm's gonna go deep rather, and then you're gonna run and lift. You gotta bring your hips in, and you're gonna lift them. So right hand collar, above the elbow, I get my head down in here, collapse this grip, rotate. He's blocking this off, I can't cut off. I come up, I run the pipe, he stays up. Now my left arm goes deep. I bring my hips in, finish that way. It's a lot smoother if you don't have to stop in the middle. The right hand here, above the elbow, rotate, He's blocking this off, I'm on the plate. So from this position, this is something that is basically whenever a guy hangs over top with a chest wrap, he's just trying to take you back, whether it's in freestyle he's trying to expose you, or in folk style he's just kind of creating the scramble and changing the position to maybe something more advantageous for him. So from here, same setup, we get there the same way here, well, the elbow rotate, and now he's locked here. I push with this hand if, I, if I'm starting to go, I push with this and get my hips in. And now from here, I want to do, I want to put all the weight back on my heels. I want to pop up as I punch with this hand to here. Now my hips are in and I'm just going to scooch my, my butt back that way in between his legs. Now two sweat and cover. Right forearm in, feet chest lock. Bring him up. When I come back through here and my head pops up in between his legs, I need to slam his hips down. If I just sit the corner real lightly, he's gonna drape over top, grab ankles, or he'll kick away. So I need to slam his hips, out, his hips down on the back end. Just come through there with some force. And it's just this motion, downward. When the guy sits to a crack down and goes chest lock, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap, wrap this hand, wrap this arm, roll to get it back exposure for two if in freestyle. Full style, it just opens up your head. You can just cut, cut back and finish. Same finish. Here he sits. I'm gonna wrap this arm and I'm gonna circle through his head. That's two back exposure. And that'll be two takedown and full stop. Now from this position is just when you do the high crotch and the guy sits, but he's just hanging on, he's got a tight chest wrap. He's just gonna try to lift you and get his hips back. From here, all we're gonna do is try to beat, we're gonna anticipate, make him anticipate the, the roll just enough to get this left, right arm out. We can change off to a double. Same setup. Here he 
it. I'm gonna wrap here just for a second and change my hip. As I do that, this arm, my right hand is gonna slip to a double. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm going this way. Just enough to get my right hand out. 